Cryptozoology is the study of hidden animals. We're going to talk about the Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman. This is a creature that inhabits the Himalayas of Tibet. It is an ape-like being with perhaps white, grey, orange or brown hair. It varies in size from just a few feet to as much as 15 feet or more. Some are aggressive and have sharp teeth. Tibetan folklore has three principal varieties of yetis. These are the Nialmo, which has black fur and is big and fierce. The Chuti, which stands perhaps eight feet tall. And the Rang Shim Bombo, which has reddish brown fur and is only about four feet tall. The Himalayas are wild and mysterious. Small wonder that such creatures could remain hidden there over the centuries. Sightings of the creature itself are rare, but there is enough evidence from over the years to show that something is clearly living in the area. Now, of course, not all sightings of the Yeti will actually be of the Yeti itself. Some are, no doubt, deliberate hoaxes, either by the people reporting them or by tricks played on them by others. Some sightings, too, will be of other creatures that inhabit the Himalayas, such as bears. There are several varieties of bear in the area, such as the Asiatic black bear, the Himalayan brown bear, and the Tibetan blue bear. Sometimes bears walk upright rather than on all fours, leading to misidentification, especially from a distance. Many people have reported seeing Yeti footprints in the snow. Some of these may be caused by stones falling from higher up and bouncing across the snow. Others can be caused by bears, Sometimes a bear will put its hind feet partly in the mark made by its forefeet, making a large mark that resembles a giant, human-like footprint. The Yeti were part of the pre-Buddhist beliefs of the Himalayan people. With the advent of Buddhism, the Yeti were absorbed into the belief system. While they were regarded as animals rather than a species of human, they were regarded as human enough to have human attributes such as morality. Sometimes, the Yeti were worshipped as protectors against evil. The frequency of Yeti sightings increased in the 20th century as more Western people visited the area. In 1925, a member of the Royal Geographical Society saw a creature about 250 yards away at about 15,000 feet. He later wrote, Unquestionably, the figure in outline was exactly like a human being, walking upright and stopping occasionally to pull at some dwarf rhododendron bushes. It showed up dark against the snow, and as far as I could make out, wore no clothes. A while later, he saw some footprints, similar in shape to those of a man, but only six to seven inches long by four inches wide. The prints were undoubtedly those of a biped. In 1960, Sir Edmund Hillary was on an expedition and gathered hair and skin from a scalp held in a monastery. These were later compared to samples from the Serau, a goat-like creature of the area, and black and blue bears. It was decided that it resembled the Serau, but was not exactly like it, so it was probably from a local variety of the same species or a similar species. In more modern times, there has been DNA analysis of supposed skin and hairs found over the years, but these have generally been shown to be from bears. It may be that the Yeti are a localized species of bear, possibly from the mating long ago of polar bears and brown bears. However, many sightings of the Yeti describe them as humanoid rather than bear-like, so while physical evidence may be lacking, it seems from the sightings that an ape or humanoid species may be living in the Himalayas. It may be that the Yeti are a descendant of the now extinct Gigantopithecus, a genus of ape from about 2 million to 350,000 years ago in Asia. They were huge, perhaps up to nine feet in height, and may have had orange hair, a bit like an orangutan. In fact, Gigantopithecus and orangutan shared a common ancestor some 11 million years ago. You have to go back about 20 million years to find a common ancestor between modern humans and Gigantopithecus. Looking at the appearance of Gigantopithecus, there is therefore a marked similarity to some sightings of the Yeti. The main objection to the Yeti being a descendant of Gigantopithecus 
is that it is generally held that the latter walked on all fours and would in fact have been far too big to be bipedal. However, it may be that the Yeti evolved into being bipedal as they gradually got a bit smaller over the millennia. While Gigantopithecus is believed to have been a herbivore, the Yeti may have evolved to be omnivores. The Yeti is often compared to the Sasquatch or Bigfoot of North America, but that is another subject altogether. There is speculation that some of the people that occasionally go missing in the Himalayas have fallen victim to hungry or bloodthirsty Yeti.